the upcoming Samsung Galaxy S23 could still launch with an Exynos variant in some countries. The Galaxy S23 Ultra will get a Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 chip worldwide, and lately it's been showing up on Geekbench to reveal its CPU capability. And for the first time in many years Qualcomm is coming so close to surpassing Apple's A series chipset. But you see Geekbench only measures the CPU capabilities, it doesn't matter the graphics of chipset, which is equally important. We have some news that indicates even though Qualcomm fell short of beating Apple in the CPU game, they have successfully surpassed Apple in terms of pure raw GPU power. Ice Universe mentions on Twitter that both MediaTek Dimensity 9200 and the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 will perform better than the A16 Bionic in terms of graphical performance. The Galaxy S23 and S23 Ultra already showed up on Geekbench and it is only a matter of time before the Galaxy S23 Plus follows suit. There however been murmurs about at least one Galaxy S23 variant with the Exynos 2300. An unknown Twitter user Rikolouts who has prolific followers like Ice Universe states that some Samsung executives still want to push an Exynos 2300 powered Galaxy S23. Performance-wise, the Exynos 2300 will supposedly trade blows with the Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1, putting it an entire generation behind its Qualcomm and MediaTek counterparts. There is no information about its CPU core configuration, and it will almost certainly use the Samsung's Clips 920 or its successor as its GPU, and manufacture on Samsung's 3GA process note. The model number of the Exynos 2300 Totem Galaxy S23 variants will be SMS 911, 916 and 918B. It sits in line with Samsung's flagship. Aiming scheme where B stands for International Exynos Variants. Now one more thing that we have here Ice Universe is saying that the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra will get a brand new light power mode. There's even a screenshot that is indicating exactly what this is. So basically the light mode under the performance profile is going to prioritize the battery life and cooling efficiency over processing speed so basically a moderate reduction in performance while reducing power consumption. And one of the key things he's saying is it's not going to affect the refresh rate. So you can have a 120Hz refresh rate and still have this mode on and save battery. So, without been said, let me know your thought in the comment below, and if you are new here please subscribe, peace out.